hello guys hello guys and welcome to the channel i hope that you're all doing good i hope that everyone is doing great so today we'll be talking about the orlando pirates coach as we explore how he has made some changes into you know uh the team of orlando pirates that will play the champions league you know from the one that was revealed which it is the 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 squad for the season and the jersey reveal the players unfortunately that are not there and oh coach mangoba has been backed by urodri ramagalela you know a former player please do not forget to do the right thing guys click that uh like button subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell it really does go a long way to help the channel to grow and i am very much a appreciative of that now yeah man you know that there are some changes kuma melody sundowns you know we have the senior coach in the form of steve compella is the head coach and you have oh um, for closer you know uh romaine falls romaine falls who's the assistant coach uh rodri ramakalela believes Uguti, the coaching changes do not affect mamelody sundowns that much since there are only changes on paper you know Urodri Uti look it's only the changes on paper because we are talking about coach Mangoba Mngiti who has been there for ages the only change or difference now is that he is the head coach also coach Steve Compella was there so I do not see any changes in the Sundowns team it's only what we are reading on paper Sundowns is still the same and I believe that they still have what it takes to win the games you know he says that uh, Mangoba Mngiti has done it before and I have worked with him before I know what he can do I believe that he will carry on where coach Rulani Mukwena left off they still have the majority of you know the players who were there last season sundowns are still going to dominate you get that guys that is the claim being made by rodney ramakalela he says that those are just changes on paper mamelody sundowns are in fact still going to be dominating the dstv premiership what to take on that let's jump to the spanish guitar as i already said the jersey number reveal we also it players like um you know U -U ulo Uzulu, he did. He was unveiled, you know, uh, in the number reveal, which showed Utubayanda Zulu will be part of, uh, you know, the goalkeepers for the senior team this season. And the same thing with Radio Pan. We saw that he was also unveiled, you know, in terms of the Jesa reveal. But surprisingly, the Orlando Pirates coach has made some decisions. Seemingly, I don't know. Maybe they are still gonna make some changes because the registration dates differ. You know, for the first preliminary squad there's a date to register there's a deadline right for the second preliminary squad also there's going to be a date to register until this deadline so maybe these players are still going to be registered but we've already seen that Ubayanda Zulu and also Boy Tumelo Radio Pane unfortunately they were part of the Jersey reveal but they are not and they are not in the squad that has been revealed by Pirates or in the Jersey reveal of the Champions League. Let me put it like that. They are in the Jersey reveal for Pirates for the season, but the Champions League part, they are not there. What does this mean? You know, it will remain to be seen. Which are these players going to, you know, form part of Champions League? Or does this mean that they are not going to be playing? Because in the Jersey reveal, you will not see Bayanda Zulu. You will not see Boy Tumelo Radio Pani. Does this mean that they're not going to play the Champions League? And if that's the case, what's your take on it, guys?